At the Rheinmetall facility in Unterluss, Germany, an innovative collaboration unfolded involving Australian soldiers from the 2ND-14th Light Horse Regiment, Queensland Mounted Infantry, 214LHR, QMI, actively engaging in the testing and advancement of the latest iteration of the Boxer Combat Reconnaissance Vehicle, CRV. The introduction of the Boxer CRV Block 2, commencing deliveries this year, directly benefited from the insights and input of the soldiers set to operate it, signifying a significant milestone in military equipment design and functionality. Towards the close of last year, Sergeant Chris Hughes, Lance Corporal Ben Crawford, and Trooper Liam Skinner undertook rigorous testing of the vehicle's cutting-edge features and demanding weather conditions. Their tasks encompass the utilization of the MK-32 cannon and the MAG-58 machine gun, alongside assessing the new programmable munitions capacity. A pivotal aspect of their mission centered on the Boxer Block 2's Lance 2.0 turret, where they conducted trials with 30mm training rounds and programmable ammunition. Additionally, the crew received comprehensive briefings on the Block 2 vehicle's enhancements, featuring upgraded combat intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance systems, and weapon control systems, marking a notable advancement from the Block I variants. The Boxer CRV Block 2 represents a sophisticated iteration of the combat reconnaissance vehicle tailored to meet the contemporary military's demands for reconnaissance, surveillance, and combat prowess. This evolution of the Boxer CRV stems from close collaboration between Australia and Germany, aiming to deliver a highly mobile, adaptable, and modular armored vehicle for diverse battlefield requirements. One distinguishing feature of the Boxer CRV Block 2 lies in its modular architecture, facilitating the addition or modification of modules based on specific mission requirements. Equipped with an enhanced Lance 2.0 turret, this vehicle boasts the capability to deploy programmable munitions alongside standard 30mm shells. Moreover, the Boxer Block 2 integrates advanced reconnaissance and surveillance systems, significantly enhancing crew situational awareness and target detection and engagement capabilities. The soldiers' first-hand feedback, grounded in their practical experience with previous iterations, played a pivotal role in shaping the new model. This feedback prompted enhancements in crew safety, exemplified by the incorporation of an emergency evacuation hatch for the driver, a feature particularly appreciated by Trooper Skinner. Beyond testing, the soldiers actively participated in a working group with Rheinmetall and Castle, exploring future design enhancements for the Boxer, such as the integration of an active protection system. They were also briefed on the ballistic and blast testing initiatives conducted in Germany and Australia, gaining insights into the rigorous safety and performance standards the vehicle must meet. Lance Corporal Crawford underscored the significance of witnessing firsthand the impact of their feedback on the boxer's design, especially concerning weapon system operations. Sergeant Hughes commended the new electronic systems for providing a battlefield situational awareness advantage, highlighting the strategic importance of the combat intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance system embedded in the boxer CRVs. The Australian Army, having received 25 Boxer Block I vehicles between 2019 and 2021 to fulfill an interim cavalry capability, is poised to bolster its armored fleet with the addition of 186 Block II vehicles. This initiative underscores a commitment to harnessing soldier experience to develop more efficient, safer, and technologically advanced combat vehicles for future operations.